हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल स्टैट्स एंड फिजिक्स कॉन्सेप्ट बाय मिस्टर हेमंत सो दिस इज़ आवर नाइनटीन लेक्चर इन फिजिक्स है एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज इलास्टिक कोलिजन इन टू डायमेंशंस सो प्रायर टू दिस लेक्चर आल्सो आई हैव कवर्ड मेनी अदर टॉपिक्स सो यू मै प्लीज move to my channel this is my channel stats and physics concepts by mr hemant and uh, you will find all those lectures i delivered in uh, uh, previous time and uh, this is my email id stats5.hemant@gmail.com so if you have any query regarding the topics we have covered earlier so you may please approach me at this email id so today let's uh, start with this uh, topic elastic collision in two dimensions earlier also i have uh, covered one uh, lecture on elastic collisions so what basically is elastic collision so again i can uh, recollect this so in elastic collision in any elastic collision there are two things that remains conserved one is momentum and the other is kinetic energy of the two interacting bodies also we can say the total energy of the system remains conserved because uh, i discussed uh, this in previous lecture also and there we took uh, elastic collision in one dimension now this time we are going to discuss uh, these collisions in two dimension so when i say total energy of the system remains conserved it means we are uh, concerned with a closed and isolated system so i explained you earlier also what is closed system so closed system is one in which we are expecting that no mass enters the system or it leaves the system and what about an isolated system in case of an isolated system the system is not acted upon by any external force so it is not acted upon by any external force this we did in previous lecture also so how we will explain this uh, elastic collision in two dimension so let us consider two interacting bodies let, let me say this is a body with mass m1 and uh, let us say it is at rest u1 is the initial velocity of this body there is another body here m2 and uh, this has some initial linear velocity and is moving in this direction now what happens after it strikes this ball or the mass m1 the two masses let let me say in this case the mass is that we have considered is the mass of a ball what happens to these two bodies now they move in these two different directions and what is the angle made by the direction of motion of each of these balls with respect to the initial direction of motion of this ball m2 so this is theta 1 and this is theta 2 let us say after collision the first ball this one m1 it acquires some final velocity v1 and uh, this mass m2 it acquires some final velocity v2 
now we can see here that this velocity component v2 this velocity v2 it can be resolved into two different components one is this in this direction and other one is in this y direction so i can consider this to be this x and this is y so that is why we are saying that it is a two dimensional elastic collision so you can see here let us say this angle is theta 1 similarly this will have two components here if this is velocity v1 then this angle is theta 2 so i can find out this component of velocity and i i have explained this to you in previous lectures also that if you want to do find out this component of velocity you draw a perpendicular on it so what do you get cos theta will be equal to this by this let me take these points as m l and this is n so i can write here cos theta 1 is equal to m n by m l so what is m n ml cos theta 1 and what is ml this v2 so what is this component of velocity in this direction this is equal to v2 cos theta 1 so this component is v2 cos theta 1 similarly you can work out this component then this component will be this will be v2 sin theta 1 or this component so these two vectors they are in the same direction so what is this component v2 sin theta 1 and what is this component v2 cos theta 1 similarly i can find out this component this component will be v1 sin theta 2 and what will be this component this component of velocity so this will be v1 cos theta 2 so we have resolved all the velocity components here the horizontal ones and the vertical one now you can see this this component and this component these two are in opposite direction that is v2 sin theta 1 and v1 sin theta 2 these two are in opposite direction so earlier you can see here there was no vertical component of velocity or the momentum in vertical direction it was zero so here also after collision this and this they should get cancelled out and initial momentum you can see of this body it was in this direction therefore after collision only this component and this component these two will survive so i can equate here first of all i'll discuss this momentum is comes out so in elastic collision momentum is comes out kinetic energy is also comes out So I'll take the first one. What was the initial momentum of this body? M2 U2 plus M1. What was U1? 0. So I can write here first of all the formula M2 U2 plus M1 U1. This must be equal to this. We'll take only the components which are in the direction of this velocity. So that is this one. So I'll take this component. So this is m2, what is the velocity, v2, cos theta1 plus this component, so or this mass is m1, so m1 and we have this component is v1 cos theta2, this is the equation. Similarly, I can find out the vertical component. So initially, the vertical component of velocity it was 0. 
or the momentum in vertical direction or in the y direction it was zero so this must also cancel out let us take the vertical component of this momentum this is v2 sin theta 1 vertical means in the direction of y i mean uh, v2 sin theta 1 plus this one now you can see these two are in different directions so i can take this as minus v1 sin theta 2 this is the second equation so i can further simplify this so what this will become the second equation it will become 0 equal to v2 sin theta 1 minus v1 sin theta 2 or we can write v2 sin theta 1 equal to v1 sin theta 2 this is what we get now let us take this first one the first one will be m2 u2 plus m1 and u1 was 0 you can see this was at rest we have taken so this is equal to m2 v2 cos theta 1 plus m1 v1 cos theta 2 or this can be written as m2 u2 this must be equal to m2 v2 cos theta 1 plus m1 v1 cos theta 2 so this is what we get so let me call this as equation 1 similarly when we take the second part here this we are saying kinetic energy is conserved so it remains conserved means I can write half m2 u2 square plus half m1 u1 square this must be equal to 1 by 2 what is the kinetic energy of this one so the kinetic energy is half m m2 v2 square this plus 1 by 2 m1 v1 square so you can see this we get half m2 u2 square this is equal to half m2 v2 square minus sorry plus half m1 v1 square this clear so we get this half gets cancelled so you get m2 u2 square equal to m2 v2 square plus m1 v1 square so basically these are the two formulas that we get for one for momentum and the other one for the energy considerations now so m2 u2 square is equal to m2 v2 square plus m1 v1 square so if you are given these values of theta 1 theta 2 if the mass of these bodies are given and you are given this uh, v2 v1 u2 any of these components then you can find out the other one so these are the two main equations that we get and then you can so we can further solve the problem by using these two equations how by putting the respective values of m1 m2 
u1 v2 and so on whatever is desired that we can work out so this is all about this topic so once again quickly i can recollect the things what we did in this our lecture 19th elastic collision in two dimensions so i i explained you this in previous uh, lecture also what is elastic collision so in any elastic collision momentum remains conserved kinetic energy gets conserved total energy of the system remains conserved and we are considering that this system to be a closed and isolated system you can see here you are having two bodies here this one is at rest this body is in motion having some initial velocity u2 initial velocity of this is zero and after collision the two balls they move in two different directions like this you can see the one is this one is making an angle theta one with respect to this initial direction of motion this ball makes an angle theta two with respect to initial direction of motion then let us say this as velocity v2 resolve this into its different velocity components similarly for this one then apply the law of conservation of momentum principle and you can see in both the this direction i can say horizontal or in vertical direction so this we can use the formula similarly the second part if you look at this kinetic energy remains conserved so you can make use of this formula half m2 u2 square plus half m m1 u1 square this is equal to half m2 v2 square plus half m1 v1 square so you get this formula after simplifying it so this is all we have done in this uh, topic so again uh, i request you to subscribe my channel this is my channel stats and physics concepts by mr hemant so so that whenever i put up any new lecture by taking any uh, new topic so you will be benefited and and if you have uh, if you get satisfied or you are comfortable with the topics that uh, we have uh, covered and uh, the understanding that you had uh, developed uh, uh, from all these lectures so you may please uh, refer uh, about this uh, channel to your friends also so that uh, even they will be benefited by the topics that we are covering okay with this we'll stop here so thanks thanks a lot